If you're taking a look at the original Casper mattress, you probably see that there's a hybrid version available. But which one of the two should you get? Exactly what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna run through the pros and cons of each, tell you exactly what the differences are, letting you know who should get one over the other, so stay tuned. Let's get started by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. Well, the construction is quite similar, uh, 12 inches thick overall. The top layer is going to be the same, second layer is going to be the same, third layer is going to be the same. They both have zone support, so they're both going to be firmer in the middle parts of your body, softer when you're on your side, underneath your shoulders. The firmness overall, I think, is about the same. I put it about a 6 out of 10. And the feel overall is going to be generally pretty similar as well. All right, so what's different between these two mattresses? Well, in the construction, it's really springs versus foam in these support layers. The hybrid has uh, individually pocketed coils and the original just has um, base kind of poly foam. So what does that really mean? Well, the hybrid's gonna be more expensive as a result. The springs are gonna be more expensive of a material overall than foam is. It's gonna be more supportive, probably more durable and have better airflow and probably better edge support, but that comes at the cost of just being a little bit pricier. Let's talk about the construction of both mattresses and see what the differences are. Starting with the original Casper, 12 inches in total, very similar construction to the hybrid, but let's talk about the layers. We have a soft latex-like layer on top, then pressure relieving memory foam underneath that transition layer, that zone, so it's gonna be firmer in the middle and softer um, on the sides, um, underneath your shoulder if you're on your sides, um, and then a base layer of poly foam. All right, now let's take a look at the hybrid. You'll see that it's basically the exact same construction except it has springs instead of poly foam in the base layer. Let's talk about what that means having springs. Well, there's gonna be more air to flow through, so if you're worried about sleeping hot, things of that nature, the hybrid may do a little bit better of a job. It's also a more expensive material. It's gonna be more supportive overall, so maybe you're a little bit heavier, you have higher support, needs, I would definitely consider the hybrid over the original Casper. Um, and also it's going to be pricier and it's got better edge support as well. So you're going to be able to sleep more towards the edge uh, with the hybrid than you would with the original Casper. All right, let's talk about differences in firmness and feel, and really there aren't too many differences at all. I put the firmness about the exact same, six out of 10 for both mattresses. I feel like the feel is pretty similar as well. It's a balanced foam feel. You get a little bit more bounce out of the hybrid. So overall, it's a pretty similar feel, but I would just say there's a little bit more bounce. So it's a very kind of subtle difference, but there is a little bit of a difference in the feel overall. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses, and I actually feel about the same on both mattresses. So on my back, I feel that zone support on the original Casper and on the hybrid. Um, I feel very good support overall. It's a little bit firmer in the middle parts of my body, so you feel that zone support. Good match for me there. On my side, great pressure relief on both mattresses. It's a little bit softer because of that zone of support. So I'm on my side, really on both mattresses, I feel about the same. Switching onto my stomach, I feel like it's a pretty good match for me. I would say if you just sleep on your stomach, you probably want something a little bit firmer, but it feels about the same for both mattresses. Mattress clarity, we love our pressure map tests. It's an objective test, shows you exactly how well each mattress leaves pressure. So in this case, I got down a pressure map, light on my back, side, and stomach, but what really matters is these side sleeping results. So we'll show the results on both mattresses here. In my experience, it was about the same. I felt like they both relieved pressure pretty well, but you'll see that the hybrid, in this case on this test, shows that it relieves pressure a little bit better than the original does. So that's something to know. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person want to give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Casper Hybrid and the Casper Original. In terms of firmness, I put the Casper Hybrid at a 6.5 out of 10. The Casper here at 6.5, maybe a 7 out of 10. So very, very close in terms of firmness. In terms of sleeping position, starting over in the Casper Hybrid, starting on my back, very, very good overall support. My hips sink in, not too far. Good lumbar support. Very nice for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I am feeling a little bit of pressure in my shoulders and my hips, but it is softer under my shoulder area because of the zone construction, so a decent match for side sleeping. On my stomach, it's actually pretty supportive, so overall I don't feel like my hips are sticking in too far. I feel pretty nice overall support on my stomach. Over here on the Casper Original, on my back, good overall support as well. So my hips sink in, not too far. Again, very, very nice for back sleeping. On my side, feels similar, a little bit of pressure, but a decent match for side sleeping. On my stomach, definitely not supportive enough. I am bowing at the hips there. So what does that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, both could work for you. If you're a heavier side sleeper and you weigh more than me, I'm 230, so the most might be a little bit too firm for you. If you are a heavier stomach sleeper, I would lean towards the hybrid. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. It's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support is basically can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like it can fall off. As far as motion transfer is concerned, because the hybrid has coils in it, I feel that the original Casper does a better job at isolating motion. As far as edge support is concerned, the hybrid does have reinforced edge, so it definitely does a better job at kind of preventing that rolling off the bed feeling. 
All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these two mattresses should you get? As far as who should get the original Casper, if you just want to save some money, I would go with the original Casper. You get pretty much the same type of feel, but for less, so it may be a better value, um, given that it's a pretty similar type of feel. If you're a little bit lighter or you don't have as many support needs, I don't think you need the extra support you get from the coils, so I would go with the Casper in that case, and you can save some money that way. As far as who should get the hybrid, I think if you have more support needs, maybe you're a bit heavier. It's definitely the more supportive of the two, so I would go with the hybrid in that case. If you want something that's more durable, you want to view this as a long-term investment, it's definitely going to be more durable than the original, so that's something to note. If you want some more airflow as well, if you're worried about sleeping hot, it's definitely going to be the best at doing that, so that's just something to note as well. All right, to wrap up, these are two very, very similar mattresses, but hopefully I've made clear what the differences are and which one you should get. If you're still a bit confused, I do read every single comment on YouTube and get back to you, so just leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're just getting started with your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.